Welcome to the second installment of the Art and Feminism Introductory Lesson Plan video series. Thanks for watching the first video in the series where we learn how to make simple edits on Wikipedia. Now we're going to learn about user pages and how to use your sandbox to make future edits, including adding citations. In the third video, you'll learn about additional ways to contribute, as well as some rules and best practices for Wikipedia editing. You'll want to keep these links open for the duration of the video today and as you work with me throughout this video series. Let's start by learning how to make edits to your user page. Your user page is there to give basic information, if you wish, about yourself or your Wikimedia related activities. Once you've logged in, you can click on your username in the right hand side of your screen to view your user page. As with any other page, you'll select Edit to make changes to your user page. On the screen right now, you can see my rather sparse page as an example, and at the top you can see what it looks like in Wikitext Markup. Now let's learn how you can use your sandbox to practice making edits on Wikipedia. Your sandbox is like a giant blank space in which you can practice editing. The link to your sandbox appears at the top of your screen next to your talk page. You can select Edit here. Over the next few weeks, as you familiarize yourself with Wikipedia, I suggest copying and pasting markup from other pages and adding it here so you can practice using Wiki Markup. For example, today we're going to learn how to use your sandboxes to practice adding references and citations. But first, let's learn a little bit about how citing works. Adding citations is one of the simplest ways that you can contribute to Wikipedia. Working to make sure that articles are well cited ensures that they don't get deleted and also offers further avenues for the research for the Wikipedia user. For a citation to appear in a footnote, it needs to be enclosed in ref tags, as you can see on the screen here. Or, you can highlight your whole citation and then click the markup icon to automatically enclose your citation in tags. On a new page, you may need to remember to create a section usually named Notes or References near the end of the page. On screen now, you can see an example of how you enter this in Wikitext Markup. And you can also see an example of a complete footnote with ref tags and a link to the article. Now we're going to take a few minutes to add two citations to your sandbox. The first entry you'll see above is a book, and you can find the link to its WorldCat entry on the lesson plan for today. I'm going to open up my sandbox momentarily and edit, so you can follow along before doing this on your own. The second entry you'll see is a uh, reference you'll need to use a citation template for, for a magazine article. Again, I will edit along with you, so we can start by navigating to the lesson plan again, where we'll find the link to citation templates as well as a link to the article. So you can see now I'm open to my sandbox and I already have a notes section with references and tags and I have an example that I made earlier when I was practicing which is enclosed in ref tags and also includes a link to the article. Now I'm going to navigate to the lesson plan to find the homework for today. Let's go to section 2.7, putting in citations. And this should bring us down to the citation section where I can copy and paste those two citations and then put them into my sandbox. But I still want to go and grab those links. So I'm going to go back to the lesson plan and you can see the WorldCat entry link is here. I'm going to select that and open up the WorldCat page this is going to allow me to go ahead and open that up and grab the URL that I'm going to need to link to for the citation to be complete. So you'll see in my citation I'm going to want to enclose it in ref tags. I can do this manually, but I'm actually just going to highlight the whole thing 
and insert a reference. But you'll note, however, that I want to have that URL, as you can see in the example above. I'm going to go ahead and need to grab that from that WorldCat entry that I opened up earlier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in brackets here, and I'm going to go ahead and enter that URL. And now I'm going to go ahead and click Save Page to see what we've done so far. So you can see I've added a successful citation here with the footnote appearing in text, as well as that link to the WorldCat entry appearing down in the Notes section. So let's move on to our second example. To do so, I'm going to navigate up to the Edit tab, and this time I'm going to create a citation template. First, I'm going to navigate back to the lesson plan in order to grab the article link. I'm going to control click, open it in a new tab, and then I'm going to copy that link. Now I'm going to select Cite, and this is going to give me a few options. From the drop down, I'm going to select Cite Web. And this will open a dialog box that I can move up so that I can see the original text that I want to copy into these little boxes. First I'll paste the URL, and then I'm going to enter the other information into the boxes for all of the information that I have on this article. When I'm done, I can select Insert, and this will insert the citation template. You'll notice it's enclosed in ref tags and appears in a specific format. So now I can go back and delete the original text that I had pasted in, because it's been replaced with the proper citation technique. And when I'm ready, I can scroll down and select Save Page to see the edits that I've made. So you can see now in my sandbox that the footnote is appearing correctly in the text, and in the Notes field the article is linking out. So these are just two different ways that you can cite articles on Wikipedia. So now that we know how to add citations, over the next few weeks you should add some well-cited sentences and paragraphs to articles in your area of expertise. In the next video, we'll offer some guidelines and helpful tips about editing Wikipedia articles. Thank you so much, and we hope you will continue on to the third video in this series.